Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a real quick video about a topic I really get asked a lot about, and it's how often should you throw? Now, a lot of guys will come to me and I'll be like, you know, how long has it been since the last time you've thrown? And they'll say, oh, three or four days, or a week, or since last time that we worked. And as someone who's played this game my whole life, you know, it's, uh, it's almost confusing because to get really strong, okay, in baseball, to get a strong arm, to really get your arm in great shape, you need to throw at a, on a very consistent basis. Like, I would throw six, seven days a week. And, for example, um, in college, we had, you know, a long six-week break in between, you know, fall ball and then spring ball. Six-week break for Christmas break. And I would go home for a couple of weeks and then we'd actually have to come back and this was division one come back and throw bullpens and I didn't throw during you know a couple of weeks and I would come back and I actually really hurt my elbow and it affected me a lot I lost seven or eight miles an hour and ruined basically the whole year okay and I could think about two times in you know my last couple of years of college where I would have a break you know from practice and this would be in between games, and I wouldn't throw, which I would always try to make sure I threw, but the few times I didn't throw, I would always know my arm would feel terrible. It would feel horrible and really affect my performance the next game. I felt like I was throwing slower, less crisp, less accuracy, less life on my pitches, and you know, when this becomes, you know, pitching, when it becomes your career, when it becomes you know your livelihood you can't take chances like that you have to really understand what it takes for you to be at your best and then be adamant that you're getting that amount of work in that you need so for some guys it might be a little bit different some guys are gonna have arms that are gonna get super sore um, the day after they pitch and maybe these guys will take a day off all right I wasn't like that. Even after pitching seven innings, eight innings, nine innings, the next day, I would always throw a little bit. It felt like, you know, when I would always throw, you know, after nine innings, I would just lob it. Just real easy. It felt like I was getting lactic, lactic acid out of my arm and just loosening it up, loosening up the shoulders, loosening up the body. You don't want to feel tense, all right? You want to feel like, you know, you're, you're really, you're an athlete, you're moving, okay? taking a few days of not moving, your whole your body's gonna tighten up. And that's even at a young age, I've seen this. I've seen kids, they come to me after vacations and they're coming, you know, oh, I've been thrown in two weeks. And then I get them on the radar gun and their velocity has dropped two, three, four miles an hour. And they get, you know, upset, they get depressed and I have to explain to them, look, this is normal. When you take time off, your arm's probably not going to be feeling great and you might lose velocity, all right? When I went to high school, our coach would always talk, talk to us about a dead arm period, and that was when we started practice um, after having not been practicing for that much, and if you hadn't been throwing, your arm's gonna feel dead for a little bit. And so, for me to be in my best shape, and I think this is true for most people I've seen, most people I've played with, most of the kids I've seen, you gotta throw all the time. You gotta be throwing close to every day, and it doesn't have to be much, okay? A lot of kids, I ask them, okay, have you been throwing? It's like, oh, well, I don't have anybody to play catch with or long toss with. It doesn't have to be long toss. You can get a net, you know, five feet away, throw that ball right into the net 20, 30 times, and that's your toss for the day. You're getting the blood flow, you're getting, you're moving, and that makes a difference, all right? Um, and it's not even just throwing, you could, throws a little bit, but you know, you're doing push-ups, you're doing sit-ups, you're taking a jog, you're getting your arm going and you're getting blood flow up here is gonna be huge. And so some of you guys, you're taking a week off and then you're coming back and your arms don't feel good and that's just normal. So really two things, understand that that's you know normal, that you take time off, your arm's not gonna feel good. And then number two, is fix the problem. Fix the problem by making sure that you're throwing consistently 
and your arm is feeling good all the time. Now, of course, some guys really like to take you know, a break from pitching, which can be a good thing for sure. If you're pitching year round, you know, it could be good to take you know, a few weeks or even a few months off. Uh, I wouldn't recommend more than that. You know, like guys, like when you play pro ball, you play you know six, seven months a year, eight months really if you're playing playoffs. Um, and usually guys take about a month, sometimes two months off after that. There are variations. Mariano Rivera wouldn't throw during the off season, but that's Mariano Rivera. Okay, so you know try to throw you know what's best for you, but also look at what most people are doing, and you're probably similar to most people, you want to be throwing on a consistent basis, you want to be keeping blood flow, continually building the arm, and just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. All right, this is what I've seen that's helped kids throw harder, it'll make a difference for you, and that's what we want. We want you guys throwing harder, we want your guys' arms healthy, all right, we don't want any injuries whatsoever, so the more consistently you throw, the healthier your arm will be. And if you stay healthy, you just get stronger, little by little, 1% each day, you're gonna make it farther than you imagine, farther than if you you know, think you're gonna play hard you know, now and then, and then take time off, okay? So it doesn't work that way. Just get a little bit better each day, throw consistently, get stronger, stay dedicated, and you'll make it farther than you think. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. Keep playing, keep staying dedicated, keep working out, keep having fun.